In today's paper, Mervyn King forecasts zero growth down from 0.8% earlier in the year, but rules out a rate cut from 0.5 to 0 or 0.25, says the front of the Times. Following this announcement, Osborne warns that the economy is flatlining. However, in the Express, this news is greeted with the headline, Mortgage Joy for Millions, as Capital Economics looks to the future and says rates will won't rise above 0.5 until mid-2015. On that note, the Post Office announces that they will sell mortgages and consumers will be able to walk in and book a free appointment to discuss their mortgage needs in a private booth. It will be interesting to see who will provide this service as Mortgage Solutions suggests that the specialists will be used. The Telegraph highlights the fact that Mr King went on to say that LIBOR needs to be replaced as it has stopped working. A real interbank lending rate no longer exists as it's based on individual banks' risk profiles, so having a committee to decide this is no longer sensible, says Mr King. Today is the official five-year anniversary of the start of the global credit crisis, as on the 9th of August 2007, um, BNP Parabolas said that investors would not remove money from two of its property funds due to liquidity issues. We continue to see the impact of this across the UK. A recent example is the travel agency of Mum and Dad, um, which LV ins Travel Insurance said that two million adults go on holiday with their parents. Over 15 million fewer people apply to university following the fees hike to £9,000, reveals a report in The Guardian today. But as The Sun points out, with Aldi managers' salary starting at 40k plus benefits, this might be less of a problem. Finally, the continued rise in employment in a stagnant economy is a genuine puzzle, says The Financial Times, so it remains to be seen if this trend will continue or we will see a reverse.